place the assembled concentrator tube on a magnetic stirrer plate and attach the magnetic stirrer bar. Begin gentle stirring. Connect the waste bottle and hand pump to the tap on the concentrator base. Open the tap and carefully reduce the volume of liquid so that it's level with the follower, and then close the tap. Use the hand pump to create extra vacuum. The force of the vacuum should not exceed 30 centimeters of mercury. Note that not all liquid should be drained away. Oocysts and cysts should be suspended in the liquid above the membrane. Remove the magnetic stirrer bar and rinse the magnetic stirrer bar with PBST to recover any target organisms that may be present. Pour the remaining eluate into a 50 milliliter centrifuge tube. Rinse the inside of the assembled concentrator tube with PBST. Open the tap on the concentrator base to concentrate this rinse volume on the membrane. Close the tap and detach the hand pump from the concentrator base. Add a further 600 milliliters of PBST to the same assembled concentrator tube. Remove the rubber stopper from the steel tube and attach the assembled concentrator tube to the quick connect. Wash the filter module by moving the plunger head fully up and down 10 times. Remember to move it very smoothly to avoid generating excess foam. Detach the assembled concentrator tube and hold it directly below the steel tube. Rinse the steel tube with PBST. Expel the remaining liquid from the elution tube by compressing the foam five times. Begin to dismantle the tubing set. Rinse the inside of the steel tube with PBST, adding the rinse volume to the assembled concentrator tube. Return the plunger head to the upper position. Tip any remaining liquid in the elution tube into the concentrator tube taking care to ensure the foam discs remain in the elution tube. Dispose of the foam discs from the elution tube. Place the assembled concentrator tube on a magnetic stirrer plate. Add the concentrated eluate retained from the first wash to the eluate from the second wash. Rinse the 50 milliliter centrifuge tube and add to the second wash eluate. Attach the magnetic stirrer bar. Connect the waste bottle with the hand pump to the tap on the concentrator base and begin gentle stirring.
open the tap and carefully reduce the volume of the eluate to approximately 30 millilitres. Use the hand pump to gain vacuum of no more than 30 centimetres of mercury. Note that not all of the sample eluate should be drained away, as oocysts and cysts will be suspended in the liquid above the membrane. Close the tap on the concentrator base. Remove the magnetic stirrer bar and rinse with PBST. Open the tap on the concentrator base and drain the eluate level down to approximately 30 millilitres and close the tap. Pour the remaining eluate into a 50 millilitre centrifuge tube. Rinse the inside of the assembled concentrator tube with PBST and add it to the same 50 millilitres centrifuge tube as used earlier. Note that for high turbid waters, more than one membrane can be used for the concentration step. They can be placed into the concentration base smooth side up. Remove the concentrator tube from the base. Use the jaws of the wash station to help do this. Using forceps, carefully remove the membrane and place in a membrane bag. Pipette 5 millilitres of PBST into the membrane bag. Rub the membrane between the thumb and forefinger for one minute. Draw any residual rinse volume into the bottom of the membrane bag and transfer it to the 50 ml centrifuge tube containing the concentrated eluate. Repeat with a further 5 ml of PBST. Rubbing the membrane for a further minute. Transfer as much of the wash volume as possible from the membrane bag and add it to the concentrated eluate. Cap the tube containing the concentrated eluate. The 50 ml centrifuge tube can now be centrifuged.
After use, it's recommended that equipment should be cleaned using warm water and detergent.